Troy's Everyday Eats brought to you by The Fresh Market. Welcome back, everybody. Hanging out here in the kitchen with Chef Troy. Troy, I have to admit, I was stuffing my face, and they actually called me in and said, Terrence, you're up, you're up. I was trying to get the, um, the appetizer to the meal that you're cooking up here this morning. So looking forward to it, brother. What are we making? All right, well, we're doing kind of a, you know, everybody's had corned beef over the weekend. If right. you did any kind of St. Patrick's Day celebration, so I thought I would give a little cure for the hangover, the corned beef hangover. <laughs> so we're doing a couple dishes at 8 o'clock. We're going to do some stuffed cabbage rolls with okay. some chorizo grits and, the, you know, the corned beef. You know, in this segment, we're doing, it's crispy corned beef with fried Brussels sprouts. So we've already fried the Brussels sprouts. I showed how to take the leaves off, so we deep fried those. 30, 45 seconds till they're nice and crisp. Mm -hmm. All right, so for the corned beef at the break, what I did was took cold corned beef, and it has to be cold because okay, I was you, like, how do you crisp it if up? You cook, and what, basically what corned beef is, is it's beef brisket. And okay. what makes it corned is like corn was the old word for salt. So it's salt cured. So when you boil it, you know, it's already pretty much tender and it's brined, kind of a dry brine like we did our right. chicken. So anyway, then you boil it, you know, and it get, becomes nice and tender, and we shredded it, and that's what we're going to put in our cabbage rolls. But for this, we cubed it, and I've got some down here that I've just dusted with some cornmeal or some corn starch, rather. Okay. Just to give it a nice crispy crust. And it now, does corn starch act like flour or any other kind of crispening agent? Basically, what it's going to do is it coats really well. I mean, it okay. sticks to everything, but it's going to give just this nice thin crust on the outside. Basically, it's going to hold in some of the juices. All right. So while that's cooking, we're just going to cut a. Uh, here, we'll just use one of these. Now I made a. <laughs> I thought you wanted me to cut. That. Are you going to trust <laughs> yeah, me with the knife? No, not really. <laughs> Especially after you came in here all rushed and stuff. I know your heart rate's up. That's probably not a good thing. So we're <laughs> I'm in a little bit better shape than that. I just walked. <laughs> well, well, then you're in better shape than me. <laughs> all right, so I've already got some done. Now, those are going to take maybe three, two or three minutes. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, so we've got some here, and they're all nice and crispy. Those but are like big old bacon chunks or like fat back chunks. Yeah, exactly. And they're, but you can see, see how tender they are? So what we're going to do here, and I know we've got to roll out. We're going to put these on here like this. And then we're going to take some of these fried Brussels sprout leaves, scatter them across like that. I've got some, I've got some kettle fried peanuts I'm going to put on the top, some of these green onions. And then we made this chipotle crema. Uh, I know we've got to roll. Would you um, use this as an appetizer or is this a main course for you? Is this an appetizer? I would consider this like bar food, something you could snack on, maybe okay. have a cold beer with or something like that. So perfect for St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to try this. All right. In fact, Me I'm going to take that whole dish. Hi, I am hanging out with Chef Troy here, and I'm trying to figure out this next menu item he's going to cook up. This is a cabbage grit roll-up. Right. Well, it's a cabbage roll. You know, you've heard of that. You know, where you stuff cabbage with, you know, all kinds of different things. I have not, but now you schooled me. Okay. Well, it's not anything I invented. Uh, you know, I'm okay. just kind of tweaking it a little bit. And to make the cabbage rolls, I'll tell you what's in it. But we got to get. You can these tell going. I'm a child of the '80s, right? I called it a roll up. Roll up. <laughs> <laughs> cabbage grit roll up. <laughs> I like your yours better. So I've taken some cabbage. You can use regular cabbage, savoy cabbage, whatever. But you just want to plot. You could use collard green leaves. Just something oh, wow. that's okay. big. And we're going to, some salted water, boiling water, we're going to get that in there. There's some tongs over there, T, if you want to push those down for me. Okay, sure. Now, so you want them to submerge? Yes. Okay. Now, those are going to go for three or four minutes, and we're going to put them directly into an ice bath. Oh, wow, okay. The other way you can do that is you can tear off, depends on how big you want your rolls, because those, those are going to be big because the leaves are big. If you right. want them smaller, what I like to do is tear off some of those outer leaves, shred them up like we've done here, mm -hmm. and we're going to use that as a base to kind of help steam. Okay. Then you can take the core out of the cabbage and blanch the whole thing, ice bath, and then the leaves. Now, what peel does off the blanching real. do? Because I would imagine they're going to get soft just by boiling. They them, are, right? and it's going to be a lot easier to take off the core like that. So, see, like these would be really small rolls. Like, okay. you know, that one would be just a tiny roll. That's a baby roll. That's a, a, a wee little roll. So, what we've got here is we've got a pretty decent sized one. Okay. So, at the break, now you can stuff these, stuff these with whatever you want. You know, obviously we're going to use some corned beef, but I made some chorizo grits because I, I just wanted something with a little more substance in the bottom of them, mm -hmm. something with a little bit more taste. Because if we're trying to cure the corned beef and cabbage hangover, you want more flavor than just corned beef and cabbage. Right. So we're going to put the chorizo grits in the bottom, like that. Now we made some whiskey onions in the first segment, and that's what we used with our in the sauce for our crema that we did with the fried corned beef. So we're going to put a few of those on there, and then we're going to put this. A little bit of corned beef. Now, this is the corned beef that I, I shredded. You want to uh -huh. do that when it's hot. So that way it kind of all falls apart, and then you've got nice little shreds in there. So then we're just going to take it, and you can see how it expands. 
We're going to fold the sides over. Okay, so you always fold the sides in first. That's what I do. Okay. And then you want to roll the root end to the end of the leaf. Okay. So then you've got that. So then what I would do is I would take just some kind of oven di dish you can put in the oven. We're going to put some the cabbage in there like that. Make a little nest because you don't want to waste all that cabbage. Right. And then I got some hard cider here. Well, part of a hard cider. Sorry. And then we're going to put that in there. And then we'll just kind of make some more rolls. We'll line them up in there. We'll bake them in the oven 400 degrees until they're nice and tender. I'll right. show you what they look like when we come back. Good stuff, folks. We're going to go to break momentarily. That is going to give me a chance to eat some of this or at least taste some. We'll be back right after this. Stick around. Everyday Eats, St. Patrick's Day edition. Okay, we've been getting you ready all morning long here. Oh, hi. Oh. Hi. <laughs> hi. I was washing my hands because this is the time we eat. <laughs> We do have a sink right over there next time. Okay, uh, let's get the finishing touches on this roll. This is awesome. All right, so the cabbage rolls, I'm just taking some, I made some grits just like normal with a little bit of chorizo in there. And we're going to put this in there. in there. We made some whiskey onions. We're going to put a few of those in there like that. And, and so that was just the onions and then the uh, brown, sugar, brown sugar, a little whiskey. Little whiskey. And then oh, we'll this the is the good stuff. Corned beef. Oh, yes, we'll the corned beef. This is the leaf that Terrence did, so I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. We'll blame him. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> He's not here to defend himself. <laughs> that, that's exactly right. <laughs> so then you got your roll. Okay. So then you put it into a casserole dish. You bake it in the oven, cover it for a little bit, just until they're cooked all the way through and nice. Just a little soft. bit, like maybe five minutes? Ten uh, minutes? Recipe, I've got, you know, 15 to 20. Okay. Just okay. so they cook all the way through. So then we'll, we'll cut one nice in half and just soft. so you can kind of see what's on the inside. Oh. Beautiful. Check that out. And they're nice and they're moist, but those grits kind of stay in there and hang out. Grits are so fun. That just really came out of nowhere for me. When you <laughs> said grits in there, I was well, like, okay. Well, I, I did want something a little substantial in there, you right. know, instead of just putting Fill it out. Corn, yeah. You know, just so it's got a little more. Now, we also did some crispy corned beef and fried Brussels sprouts with some peanuts. We did a, a creme on there with some chipotle in it. That's more like a bar food snack. You know, it's just kind of just a cure for the regular old corned beef hangover. You nailed it. I do it. have to say, too. Yeah, tell yes. us about the bread here. I got some I real Irish soda bread. Soda bread. From, I hope I don't mess this up, Pat and Siobhan Jackson. Siobhan is really Irish, and she dropped that off at the studio yesterday. So we're going to open so nice. that up. I'm going to share a little bit of it, but I'm going to take <laughs> that some of that going home. home. Well, your wife, so, of course, was just there, so she kind of was your inspiration. Exactly. She got me the, the hat, hat, you know, and I won't tell you everything else she brought because she got mad last week <laughs> right. when I said she you know, brought some stuff. It was stuff all in. legal, don't worry. <laughs> Well, I'm excited wasn't. to try this soda yeah. bread, though. I've never tasted that before. So I that's might share different. some with you. Might. I might. Now, I don't so have the recipe for that, you. but I'm sure I can get it. But these recipes, WCCB Shark clicking on the rice.